A Red Bank graduate and Peace Corps volunteer passed away this week after a cycling accident in Fiji. Good evening, I'm Josh Rowe. And I'm Latricia Thomas. Today, Betsy Golden spoke with his family and former classmates about the incredible life he lived. She joins us now with the story. Betsy. Well, Reuben Summerlin was killed in a cycling accident Monday in Fiji. He and his family had lived there since 2012 while he worked for the United Nations. Today, family tells us about the man they loved. Reuben Summerlin spent his life helping others, working with the United Nations and for financial inclusion, specifically in the Pacific Islands. He had a passion for helping the poor. He lived in Fiji with his family since 2012 and his contract with the UN was up. His family was in the process of deciding where they would move next. But before they moved, Reuben wanted to cycle the island. It's sugarcane season there and the roads in Fiji are, are pretty um, narrow. A lady um, was going around a sugarcane truck in a curve and just never saw him and he never saw her. Scotty says that he was thrown off of his bike and died on the way to the hospital. Today, family and friends gathered at Red Bank High School to remember and share stories about Reuben. He was a force. <laughs> you would see him down the halls just smiling and waving and he met everyone. He was a student council president and a prankster. Like when he was here at Red Bank, apparently there was a rule that boys couldn't wear shorts here, but the girls could wear mini skirts, and the boys just thought that was so unfair. And so one day, Reuben and some of his friends wore mini skirts to school. While Reuben seemed to enjoy life to the fullest, he worked hard. Today, I learned a Red Bank career counselor told him that if he didn't speak three languages by 30, he'd be wasting his talent. At the age of 44, he spoke five and had traveled to 50 countries. He really was a, a true humanitarian, and the world has just lost such a great soul. And now the Fiji Times Online reports that no charges have been filed for the driver of the car and that the accident is still under investigation. Latricia? Betsy, thank you.